Right now, a gruesome backyard discovery. Investigators excavate human remains, evidence of a possible unreported homicide. Good evening, I'm Sion Rhodes. Marion County deputies spent the day digging behind a home on Southwest 89th Place, led there by someone who said a body was buried there in 2000. West Juice Travel Island live for us tonight. And Travel, you spoke to the woman living in the house right now. Yeah, the woman who lives in the house told me that investigators had to move over that shed from its original sitting place. Then they started digging. They did find the human bones. Now they're working to make a positive identification and find out who's responsible for the death. Pat Whiting's home is roped off with crime tape as investigators dig for clues in her backyard. They're trying to find out what happened to the man that lived here before she moved in. Crime techs found a body buried underneath a shed in Whiting's backyard on Wednesday. They believe it could be Jerry Christie Law. He had been missing for nearly 14 years. It's like I've been doing my laundry over this body for seven years. Yeah. Whiting says the investigation into this missing person's cold case got hot again back on April 1st when detectives came to her home and said they needed her help. That they thought someone was buried in my backyard. And I thought it was my brother playing an April Fool's joke, mm -hmm. but it wasn't a joke. Detectives believe that Krista Law's death was a result of a domestic violence dispute. On Wednesday, one of his family members came to the home and pinpointed the spot for investigators to dig. These pictures were taken by deputies. They show where they uncovered the human remains. The new owner of the home lives next door. She didn't want to give her identity, but told me the previous family abandoned the place. We thought they all moved away together, but apparently they didn't. She bought the property back in 2004 after the county foreclosed for unpaid taxes. She says the victim and his family stayed to themselves. She had no suspicion of troubles. Neighbors find some relief knowing that the victim will be laid to rest. I'm, I'm glad that it's uh, coming to an end. Uh, he deserves a decent burial. Well, the person who lives in the home now tells me investigators will be back out here tomorrow. Deputies say they won't, deputies won't tell us rather who led them here to the body, only saying it was a family member, but they do say they have a person of interest they're looking into. For now, we're live in Marion County, Travel Island, West 2 News.